Today I'm going to show you how to edit a winter landscape in Lightroom. Welcome back to another Lightroom editing tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about how to edit winter landscapes in Lightroom. Winter landscapes can be really fun to edit. You can have really gloomy winter landscapes or you can have really bright and fun winter landscapes. And so with this image right here, you can see a really nice image. There's a lot of snow. Looks like fresh snow has fallen. I've added some blue to the pond right here and added a lot of green in this image. Added a lot of contrast to this image as well. If we look at it quick before, you can see there's some parts of the image that are really bright. And I'll bring that down a little bit. And this pond is kind of blue, but I want to make it a little bit deeper and decrease some of the saturation here. And I also want to add some warm tones to the image since the snow tends to reflect that warm tone from the sky and so that looks really nice and also adds a lot of contrast to this image so I was able to achieve that with this edit. I also have a video on how to edit just normal landscapes and how you can get that moody and cinematic landscape look so if you want to go check that out I'll leave a link in the description down below. And before we get started don't forget to like and subscribe for more Lightroom editing tutorials and let me know down in the comments below what other presets or videos you would like to see. I went ahead and made a virtual copy just to get started with a clean edit. First thing I'm going to do is start by bringing the temperature down, make it a little cooler. Since I'm going to be adding that warm tone towards the end, I want to make sure it's cool so it's not too warm. I'm also going to bring down the tint towards the greens to make those trees just a little bit more green. Then I'm going to start by bringing down the exposure. Snow tends to be really bright, so I don't want it like really bright and overexposed. So I'm going to bring that down a little bit. There we go. I also want a lot of contrast in this image, so I'm going to increase the contrast. Next, I'm going to bring down the highlights quite a lot so you can see all the detail in the snow. Then I'm going to bring up the shadow so we can also see some of the detail in the darker parts. I'm going to bring down the whites so the snow isn't as bright. And also darken the blacks to make them a bit deeper. There we go. Now I'm going to increase the texture so you can see more detail in the trees. Make them stand out a little bit. I also want to increase the clarity just a little. And also increase the dehaze. Now with the vibrance and saturation, I'm going to bring down the vibrance. And then bring up the saturation. There we go. And so if we just look at a quick before and after, I was really able to bring the sky detail right here. You can see that this was almost blown out and you didn't see much in the snow over here. I was able to bring that back. And now this image looks a lot better. So now we can add more contrast and do some of the coloring. So now I'm going to move on to the tone curve. So with the tone curve, I'm going to be doing an S curve. So I make three points, one in the shadows, midtones, and highlights. So I'm going to bring down the shadows. We go and then bring over the midtones. There we go. And then I'm gonna bring up the highlights. Alright. Now I'm gonna bring down the white point, just crush it a little bit, and then bring up the blacks. There we go. So you can see with the quick before and after i was able to add a lot of contrast to this image and make those trees pop out just a little bit more over here so now i'm going to move on to the hso adjust the colors a little bit of the image the first thing i'm going to do is just the reds oranges and yellows so i bring up the reds make them a little orange there we go now with the orange i'm going to bring that down towards like the red and then with the yellow, I'm going to bring that down towards orange. Right. Now I'm going to adjust the saturation of those. I'm going to be desaturating those mostly. So bring down the saturation for that. Then bring down the orange a little bit more. And then bring down the yellows. And then with the luminance, just adjust that a little bit. Bring down the reds. Then bring down the orange. And then I'm going to bring down the yellows a little bit more. There we go. So now we're moving on to the greens, aquas, and blues. That's where most of these colors are going to be and in the trees. So I'm going to adjust that. So with the greens, I'm going to make that all the way to 100. Make that a little bit more of a darker, deeper green. With the aqua, I'm going to be adjusting that towards the blue a little bit. 
you can see that I changed the color of the pond over here and in some of the trees. And then with the blue, I'm going to be making a little bit more blue. There we go. Now with the green, I'm going to increase the saturation on the green. And so with that, you can see the trees got a little bit brighter. You can see a bit more. And then with the aqua, I'm going to bring down the saturation for that. There we go. Now with the blue, you'll see the biggest difference. I'm going to bring down the blues. There you go. So you can see that adjusted a lot of the color in the pond over here. So it isn't as saturated. And so now with the luminance, I'm going to bring down the greens. And then I'm going to increase the aquas just so it's a little bit brighter so you can see more of it. And then with the blue, I'm going to turn that down a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to be adjusting the purple and magenta. So with the purple, I'm going to be bringing that towards like the blue. There we go. And then with the magenta, I'm going to bring that towards like a red. There you go. Now with the saturation, I'm going to desaturate the purple and then desaturate the magenta too. And same with the luminance, I'm going to bring down the purple and then bring down the magenta. There we go. So with these color adjustments, we look at a quick before and after. I really brought down the saturation of the pond and the trees and made it look a lot better. And so this landscape already looks much better. So now we're going to move on to the color grading and just some of the colors in the shadows, midtones, and highlights. I'll click this right here and go to the shadows. So I'm going to adjust the color towards like a blue. All right, there you go. That looks right. Now with the midtones, I also want to make that a little bit blue. Winter landscapes tend to be like on the cooler side since it's really cold and you have the snow falling. And so that cool tone adds a lot to the image. So adjust that right there. There we go. And then with the highlights, I actually want that more towards like a red. If you look at winter landscapes, they tend to have that hint of warm tone. You can see the sun is reflecting, making all the snow a little bit warm. And so that makes it look really nice. So I'm going to adjust that over here. There we go. And so now if we just look at a quick before and after I added some color to the pond right here and to the trees and added that slight warm tone to the snow, it makes it look a lot better. So now I'm going to move on to the detail, sharpen the overall image a little bit. So I'm going to increase the sharpening. There we go. And then I'm going to mask it, press Alter Option then increase that. Mostly want to mask it towards the edges of the trees. Add that detail. And there we go. Then I'm going to decrease the noise just a little bit. And the color noise. All right, there we go. We move on to the camera calibration. and fine tune the colors a little bit. So with the hue for the red primary, I'm going to increase that. And then decrease the saturation. There we go. And with the green primary, increase the greens and then desaturate that. And then with the blue primary, bring that down. And then increase the saturation. So you can see with the blue primary, that kind of added a little bit more blue and green to the trees and to the pond over here. So if we look at a quick before and after, it adds that subtle adjustment to the pond and to the backpack right here in the subject. And so this is the final edit. It's a really nice image. There's a lot of contrast in this image. It looks really moody and adds that cinematic look to it. So if you just look at a quick before and after, you can see how to add that warm tone. And overall, this is a really nice image. And so that's how you edit winter landscapes in Lightroom. Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial on how to edit winter landscapes in Lightroom. If you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe for more Lightroom editing tutorials and let me know down in the comments below what other presets or videos you would like to see. Thanks for watching!